fusion of advances in technology has been witnessed during the last decade. The accelerating emergence of new technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, the Internet of Things, big data, and the 5G network led to the looming question in all of our minds. Are we in the fourth industrial revolution? Seemingly, the ferocious coronavirus pandemic came with the final answer in hand. At the time the whole world was against the clock on controlling the situation, nothing has been more ready to respond than technology. Governments introduced stories of success by integrating digital technologies for pandemic planning, diagnosis, surveillance, testing, contact tracing, etc. From healthcare, education, government services and beyond, coronavirus has pushed the adoption of digital platforms and services to the ultimate level to become indispensable for 4.9 billion users, an unprecedented digital acceleration that has totally changed the way we live, work and relate to one another, and even the face of economy. Global governments today give more focus to their communication network infrastructures and put digital transformation at the core of their national and international priorities. And now, we are more likely to experience the metaverse and different applications of mixed reality. We are more likely to see technologies that offer enormous opportunities for monitoring climate change, closing gap in access to education and job training, driving social inclusion, and even helping us to forecast any future pandemic. But on the other hand, this paradigm shift has a dark side. The post-COVID digital acceleration has exacerbated the digital divide in vulnerable situations around the world and also put the limelight back onto security issues. And these hard times became toppled by privacy wars, data balkanization, and challenges to secure data and ensure its integrity and continuity. After a couple of years into the coronavirus, with no end in sight, the pandemic has been functioning as a catalyst for the implementation of the fourth industrial revolution in our world. But as we are preparing for the new normal of post-COVID, where data is the new oil and AI is the new electricity, can we take technology to the safer future? Oh,